Hey, the name's Eric Dorr and I want to talk about ISFJs and INFJs. What is the difference? How can you tell the difference between these two actually vastly different types? Yes, I guess there are a few people who have mistyped from ISFJ to INFJ just because, well, in the MBTI it's just one letter, it's just intuition or sensing. But the two functions, introverted sensing and introverted intuition, couldn't be any more different from each other's. First of all, an INFJ works from detachment. Overall, an INFJ works better the less connected they are to reality, the less uh, they are stuck in the reality as we know it. An ISFJ works at its best from reality, from attaching itself to and rooting itself in society, in their, around the people, their family, around the world and their uh, hometown building up a strong relation to the world and feeling connected and rooted in it. An INFJ needs to be unrooted somewhat at least in order to work with its intuition at its fullest. And so an INFJ and an ISFJ have completely different ideals and different starting points. An ISFJ works from preserving information. Rooting in many cases is about preserving your sense of identity, preserving your hometown, the family as you know it and your roots as you know that making sure that you stay connected to the people that you love about and care for that you take care of and hold on to the things that are important to you INFJs they are different in the sense that they work with prediction and speculation they run theoretical models on how reality could progress or change they envision with different ways society could work or function INFJs work from general pieces of information patterns uh, processing and ISFJs work from data processing, individual data processing. ISFJs work with labeling things. What is a cat? What is a black cat? What is a red and white cat? What the, how do you label and organize information as data so that you can easily access it? ISFJs fear memory loss. They want to hold on to the things that they've connected themselves to. They are scared of the thought of forgetting about something that is important to them. Scared of the thought of losing something that is important to them. So they hold on to and they preserve and keep information and maintain and safeguard it. INFJs, they do not fear data loss in the same sense. They are, of course, more interested in what could happen, what the future holds, what is possible, not what have I already known? What have I already learned? INFJs have a more fleeting sense of identity. ISFJs have a very firm sense of identity. ISFJs know for sure exactly who they are. An INFJ has an identity that keeps on changing and growing. An INFJ is constantly learning new things about themselves and sh testing new ways to be and live, testing new ways uh, to find a true sense of self. INFJs of course do seek a true sense of self but in the idea that there is, a, I, there is an ideal self, an ideal me that I have yet to learn about but which I can master over time. ISFJs change frequently, their beliefs change throughout their lifetime a lot. And they are not really fearful of change, they are not fearful of admitting to being wrong in the past as long as they can be more progressive in the future, as long as they can have a better grasp of the future, they are ready to do this. ISFJs pride themselves on remembering and holding on to their beliefs from an early age to when old, living by the same ideals and beliefs as they were born with and taught as kids. ISFJs are more seen as trustworthy. You can always know what an ISFJ is going to do. An INFJ, you can never know what an INFJ is going to do next. So there you have it. There are many differences between INFJs and ISFJs. And I, overall, I think it should be easy to tell which is which. But if you're ever confused, try to study how their minds work. Where, what is their priority? Is their, pri is their priority the known? Is it about preserving and archiving information? Or is their priority about philosophy, speculation and theory? That's the main big difference between an INFJ and an ISFJ. That's all I have to say on this topic. Thank you all for watching.